Happy Mother's Day! Today here in Brazil, we have Mother's Day. It's not an international holiday, but here it is. So today I'm gonna talk about my story of motherhood and my story with my baby. So you can get to know me a little bit and you can get to practice your listening and your English. I'll put the subtitles in English here so you can read and listen at the same time. If you don't understand, you can pause, you can go back and you can watch again. So do it your way, okay? Um, okay, so I actually never wanted to be a mom. It wasn't my plan and I had other plans. And I always thought that I wouldn't be a good mom because I didn't want to. So when I found out that I was pregnant, I was actually terrified because it was too much information for me uh, and I was scared about it. So after my baby was born, the day that he was born, I, I don't even know how to explain it, but it was the best day of my life for sure. And I, I still remember exactly what I felt when I looked at him. And I, when I saw him for the first time, and I thought, oh my God, he is perfect. He, he is totally perfect and, and he's mine. Like, uh, it's a weird feeling. I don't know how to explain. But that day, I found out that I could be a very good mom, even if I never wanted to be. Because now I love being a mom, I could have like three more children, no, no, not three, but maybe two more. <laughs> and it's amazing. It's a new world for me. It's a new world for every single mom because we are a person and one day we wake up and we are two people. We are, we need to Think for two, we need to make decisions for two, we need to take care of two. Everything we do, we need to think for us and for them. And that is amazing because we do that and it's not something difficult for us because we love them so much that we just do it. And it's amazing, it's amazing how much you can love someone and I never thought that I could love someone that much. Um, it's a different kind of love that I have ever felt and it's amazing. It's amazing. I, I love my baby in a way that I cannot explain. And okay, so now my baby is one year and six months old. Um, so when he was 10 months old, we found out that he had a heart disease and he needed a surgery, so it was really hard for me because uh, I'm a single mom and I take care of him by myself. So in the beginning, it, it was like, oh my God, what can I do? Like, it's a heart disease. When, when people talk about heart disease, we get scared. It's something big for us. And so I was terrified when he was one year old, one day before his birthday, uh, he had the surgery and it was a success. Uh, it was the worst day of my life for sure. So I always say that my baby gave me the best day of my life when he was born and the worst day of my life one year later. So it was really hard. We spent a time at the hospital and for me, uh, what I think about it is that sometimes we need to pass through things that we don't know why, we don't know how to explain, but we just pass through, through it. I know that af after that, I I'm stronger than I was. And that that's being a mom. Mothers get stronger by the time. And we we can we can handle things that we never thought we could and we can because we're strong we're women we're powerful and and that's it 
So now he is one year and a half. He is totally fine, totally healthy. And my experience as a mom is the best as possible. I, I never had this confidence about things. So I never thought that I was good enough about anything like my job or everything. Uh, and about motherhood, I have this confidence. For me, it's something that I think that I was born for that. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I don't know why, but it's something that I really like. And it was a total surprise for me. But now I see that it was the right thing to happen. I needed that. I'm not saying that everybody needs that. Maybe you don't need that. But I needed. And I am so happy now being a mom. Uh, so about all of this, what I could learn was that sometimes we don't know that we need something until it happens. And then we see that it was the best thing ever in our lives. And now, today, this is my, with Pedro, this is my second Mother's Day. And I had one when he was still in my belly. Um, and I can see how much I improved, how much I grew and, and how much I changed because I was a totally different person before and I don't know if this other person was better or worse or maybe it was just different, but I love the person that I am now. And I know that every mother, whatever, if it's a single mom or not, if it's a young mom or an old mom, every mother is a strong person, is, is, a, is an amazing person because we, we give too much and we don't expect anything in exchange. We just give ourselves to little babies that we love with our heart and soul, and that's it. So, happy Mother's Day to all moms in the world, and you are strong, you are brave, and never let anyone make you think different from that, okay? So, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye.